Hey guys, Ryan Lebron here. Just wanted to come to y'all today. Today is Friday. Uh, I believe it's April 28th or April 29th. I know it's Friday, 2021. Just wanted to come to y'all today to let y'all know what's going on with Creek Carrier. Now, I don't know what's going on with the company you drive for. Let me put the phone down so it's not shaking. I don't know what's going on with the company you drive for or the company that you're looking at driving for as a potential company for you. And I'm not going to... This video, please understand, guys, is not a Crete is holier than the rest of them. This video is not about that. But I do want to give y'all an update on what Crete Carrier is doing. Okay? Uh... I've been with the company for six years now. I've been an owner operator with them for four years. Now, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that Creek Carrier is the best company in the United States to drive for because all you have to do is do a simple Google search and you can find the top 30 companies in the nation and you'll see that Creek Carrier is not even in the top 10. And I'm publicly saying that and I drive for them. However, I do want to let everybody know who's looking at different companies to drive for that even in the Joe Biden administration, Creek Carrier is still strong and giving pay raises. Let me tell you what's happening now. As of May 1st of 2021, which is like tomorrow or the next day, uh, Creek Carrier is giving owner operators a three cent per mile base rate raise with a four cent per mile surge raise all the way through December 31st. So in essence, Creek Carrier is giving owner operators a seven cent per mile raise beginning May 1st of 2021, which I think is tomorrow, all the way through December 31st. Seven cent per mile raise. Think about that. Seven cents per mile times an average of 2,800 miles per week. You're going to come up to somewhere around $200 per week extra that Creek Carrier is giving out even under Joe Biden administration. Now, for those of you that did legitimately vote for Joe Biden, please understand I'm not degrading the man. Please understand that. However, if you pay attention to things carefully, you'll notice that he is cutting jobs left and right big time. And he's aggravating a lot of people. Now, some of you who did legitimately vote for Joe Biden, I understand that you look at him and say, well, he has good intentions for the country. Guys, I'm not debating that. I'm not arguing that whatsoever, okay? All I'm saying is that economically speaking he's not as good as a president as what we need in there that's all I'm saying again I'm not degrading Joe Biden so don't take it that way but I am saying that the country did better as a whole under Donald Trump but even under Joe Biden who is cutting jobs left and right Creek Carrier is still strong and they're giving pay raises. That's what I'm getting at. Now again, those of you who voted for Joe Biden, I'm not degrading the man, so don't cut me down for what I'm saying. I'm just saying that the economy could be stronger if Joe Biden would not be cutting jobs. That's all I'm saying. But even though that man is cutting jobs left and right, Creek Carrier is still giving pay raises. For the owner-operators, effective May 1st, 2021, in essence, with the $0.03 cent per mile base rate raise and the $0.04 cent per mile surge raise, the owners are getting a total of $0.07 cents per mile from May 1st all the way through December 31st, 2021. Now, what's going to happen after that raise? Well, let me just go ahead and say this. Once January 1st, 2022 comes around, all I can go by is according to Creek Carrier's past history in the last six years that I've been with them. 
every time Creek Carrier has given a surge raise on top of the base rate raise, at the end of the term of the surge raise, because <clears throat> this one will end December 31st of 2021, as of January 1st, 2022, according to Creek Carrier's past history, more than likely they will initiate that surge raise to our base rate and we will have the seven cent per mile base rate according to their past history because in the six years that I've been with Creek Carrier every time they've given a base rate as well as a surge rate raise after the surge raise term ended they've always added that to the base rate I've been with Creek Carrier six years like I, like I mentioned a moment ago and in the six years I've been with them, I've gotten a total of eight pay raises. I'm going to say that one more time. In the six years I've been with Creek Carrier, I've gotten a total of eight pay raises. That's, heck, we got, uh, I think it was one year, I think it was 2017 or 2018, we got three raises in one year. So, guys, I'm just wanting to give y'all an update on what Creek Carrier is doing now, I don't know what they're doing for the company drivers because I'm not a company driver, but I do have company driver friends who work with Creek Carrier, and they are also getting a pretty good substantial pay rate raise as of May 1st. So any of you who are looking for a company to drive for and you're not sure which one to go to, guys, once again, I'm just going to lay it out on the line for you. I'm not going to sit here and say that Creek Carrier is the best company in the United States to drive for. You can do a simple Google search and find out the best 10 companies, and Creek is not even in the top 10. I'm just being real with you. But if you're looking for a good, strong, solid company that is constantly giving out pay raises almost, almost twice a year sometimes, sometimes, like I said, 2017 or 2018, they gave three raises in one year. So they're giving out an average of one pay raise every year, sometimes more than that per year. So if you're looking for a good, strong, solid company that is steadily moving forward, you might want to check out Creek Carrier. <clears throat> and if you do, feel free to use my driver code in the process. Or, excuse me, not my driver code, but my truck number, 3940. Over and out, guys.